Good morning and welcome to the Division of Employment Securities webinar on the North Carolina Unemployment Insurance Tax System, referred to as NC Suits. I'm Larry and I'll be serving as your moderator for today's session. Today's session will discuss how to upload wage reports using the EFW2 file format in NC Suits. By now, I hope that those on the webinar have visited our website or have signed into the new NC Suits tax system. Now let's look at the agenda for today's short 30 minute program. I'm going to share some highlights of uploading files in this format, which will be filed, followed by a demonstration. As you can see on the agenda, we have allocated time at the end of our program for an interactive Q&A session with our subject matter experts. During this time, we encourage you to share your questions by typing them in the Q&A panel Click on the three dots on the bottom right corner of your screen and select Q&A to type in your questions. Please try and keep any questions to today's topic. Any questions asked during this session that are not already on the site will be added to the NC Suits FAQs page for future reference. Also, before we get started, we want you to know that this demonstration was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Before we begin the demonstration, let me highlight a few things that you need to know about uploading files in this format. First quarter 2024 reports will require a FEIN number in the employer record of the EFW2 format for validation. CSV is the preferred format for large files. No punctuation or special characters are allowed. A submitter record and an employer record are required in EFW2 format. If you are not providing information in non-required fields, please leave the fields blank. First quarter 2024 reports are due by April 30th, 2024. At this time, I'm going to turn it over to Gina. She will walk through the steps for the process for file upload, as well as give a, give a demonstration. Gina, whenever you're ready. Thank you, Larry. <clears throat> Understanding the NC Suits two-step process for file upload, you want to talk about the file upload process. When a wage file is uploaded in NC Suits, some validations are performed at different steps throughout the process. One is during the upload step. And I'll show that um, during my demonstration. It does a, an initial check to see if there are certain things are in the right places. Um, so you can get a, um, a fail at that step after your file is submitted and during the process of the submission <clears throat> of the file. I'm sorry. If the file is rejected during the upload step, the upload box will turn red. Otherwise, it will turn green. If it turns red, you can click on the errors link to determine the corrections that are needed. Also on our website at des.nc.gov forward slash employers forward slash NC suits forward slash NC suits hyphen documents, um, you can go and check the file upload error codes and that's file upload error codes. So that's your first step, error codes. Um, when that file is rejected and you've corrected again, you can upload the file again as an original report. It would not be a supplemental. It would not be an amendment. It would be an original report. And you can re-upload that file. When the file is accepted, you're gonna receive an initial email. This is email number one of a confirmation number. And all it's saying is, hey, we received your file. You've uploaded, you've submitted, we've received it. Then um, NC Suits is going to perform further data validation against that file and to see if that file can be processed and posted. And this validation, you're going to receive a second email, and that email is going to notify you if the file was processed successfully, successfully or rejected. So you'll get two emails. The first one, they're going to have the same confirmation number just to let you know. So that confirmation kind of files that. Um, follows that file. So you're going to get the first one saying, hey, we received it. The second one's going to say, hey, we processed it and this is what happened. 
So until you receive a second email, just realize it hasn't been processed. And I'm just to say that sometimes files, if it's an agent submitting it and there's multiple employers, it can be partially processed. If the file is processed successfully, then you can make payment. However, if the file's rejected and corrections are required, you're going to go to, and we'll, we'll walk through this in just a moment in the demonstration, but there's an options, under options to your left of the screen, it is reports, and we'll show you that. And you'll be cho choosing the agent file submission report, and when you, or the employer file submission report, whoever um, submitted, and you'll put in a confirmation. That confirmation can be found in several places. It can be found in those emails, but I'll also show you where under the file submission summary, it can be found. And once you do that, you hit view, and you can actually see any um, rejections or reasons for rejection. And that's the second process, not the submission, not when you upload it, but this is after upload and submitted. And then when they process that file, these are processing error codes. And it can also be found on our website. Um, if need be, make the necessary com uh, corrections, upload the file again as an original report, and go through that process again. Okay, so I'm going to go to the demonstration and share my screen, just bear with me. So I'm in the agent portal and where you would upload, you would go to wage submission, submit wages. And at this point you would put in an email and you would choose the file type. And for this one, we're, work, we're doing EFW2. You would select your file, And when you select the file, just because you select the file and added it, you have to hit upload. Once you hit upload, that box turns red or green. If it's red, it's going to have a place you can click to get your error codes. If it's green, you can go forward. And then you hit next. When you hit next, you just check your box and hit submit. And you will get the confirmation at that point. That's one place you'll get the confirmation number. You will get an email. That's another place you will get your confirmation number. And you can also get your confirmation number when you go back to wage submission, file submission summary, hit search, and these come up in order. And you will get your confirmation number here, 36678. Now, I told you earlier, if you want to see, there's two places. But one of the easiest places to look at your um, errors or rejection errors is go under your options to the left, go to reports, choose, this is an agent, so I'm choosing agent file submission report. Yours should come up according to however you are. Um, logged in as an agent or employer, you're going to put in that number and you're going to hit view. When you hit view, it's going to process. And this one said mine was rejected, which I knew over there was rejected. And I'll show you that screen again. And the reason it was rejected, it tells you the line number, the record type, the error message. Now, the ones underneath that say they were rejected due to an error in the other record, meaning this employer record caused these line items to be rejected too. And I want to show you, I've got that. Can you see the file, Larry, I just brought up? Yes. Okay, thank you. This is what the EFW2 file looks like. and it tells you, I'm going to switch back, line number two in the employer record. That's where my error was. And so, again, that's going to be this line right here, line number two. And just to show you, if you can see at the bottom of this, it tells you line two and what column you're in. 
Now, one other place I want to show you is I'm going to go back to Wage Submission, File Submission Summary. I'm going to click on the confirmation number. When I do, it's going to show me the errors, and it shows me the employer ID and what was rejected. And it said the FEIN number does not match. So if I click on the employer ID, you can see further details. But this one says the employer FEIN number does not match. Sometimes it'll tell you the line number and it also tell you the column. And I just want you to see this is another place that you can see your errors and how to find where your errors exist. Gina, click on your error messages twice. That I'll, I didn't have those only. Yes, and, and as Ruby just said, if you come up and you don't see any error messages here, you can click on the word error message and it will, um, if the error messages are somewhere down, it'll sort and you, you can get it sorted. Your, it can sort your error messages at the top. But because this one didn't have any employee record errors, I only had an employer record error. So just to give you that information and show you that. So again, two places you can see your errors. You can go into reports under your options menu and choose that report and put in your confirmation number and see your errors. Or you can go to wage submission, file submission summary, and click on the confirmation number and see more information. But also over to the right, you have view document and that document will actually show you that file that you uploaded. And so you can see that file also there. Okay, and that is a demonstration of uploading a file um, under EFW2 and also looking to see if it was accepted. And this is your file status rejected, processed, and again, I told you you could have stuff that are partially processed if it's an agent has more than one employer. So you can see that information right there, and you can sort by the different columns. So just click on the columns if you want to see them in a certain um, sort. Back to you, Larry. I thought what I would do is show you where on the website really quickly. So you're going to scroll down. Uh, right away, you can you can find the NC Suits page here, or in the employer drop down is the NC Suits section. So I'm going to go to the NC Suits page. Um, here's the announcements of the webinars. We have one more today at two o'clock on how to upload using the ICESA file formats. Um, but if you scroll down, um, there will be some previous webinars, but also the resources. Um, documents, instructional video and webinars, and our FAQ page. And just remember on the instructional videos and webinars page that you have not only the webinars, but there's about 20 instructional videos to help you with your resources, okay? And on the documents page, Gina, Gina ref, uh, referred to this, um, there are sample files, um, there are guidance documents, including QuickBooks, um and also error code documents uh for you to review so lots there on the nc suits page des.nc.gov forward slash nc suits uh again that number if you if you're having issues and you need technical assistance you can reach our team at 919-296-1569 like i mentioned before this webinar along with the others held this week um, will be added to the NC Suits video page uh, by the first of next week. And lastly, uh, just want to let folks know that the demonstration that you saw today was created exclusively for training and informational purposes. All information used for this demonstration is fictitious. Also note that information on topics regarding tax registration, reporting, payments, and filing is based on current state law and is subject to change. Once again, thank you for your excellent questions and for dedicating your valuable time to join us for today's webinar. 
We appreciate your engagement and look forward to assisting you in your NC Suits journey. Have a wonderful day. Thank you.